Hey everybody, thank you for hitting that subscribe button and the download button for today's podcast. Uh, just a few quick notes. Uh, if you want to find us on YouTube, it's at Caputo Collective. Find us on Stitcher at Caputo Collective. Find us on iTunes at Caputo Collective. Uh, Anchor at Caputo Collective. Follow our Instagram where, you, where you'll get all of the great goodies, behind the scenes pictures, updates as to when we're going to do a whole bunch of podcasts, collective gaming, as well as uh, other tidbits as well. Follow us on Facebook at C- Caputo Collective Productions. Follow us on Twitter, also at Caputo Collective. And, but more importantly, guys, remember... Get that leg! <laughs> Does this mean we're back, Christian? We're back! We are finally back after one month of a hiatus due to filming of the Hillsboro teaser trailer, which is going to be an amazing project that we are super excited to be sharing with everybody. So thank you for tuning in on the 11th episode of Collective Podcast. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! I remember the number. I didn't, I didn't even have to I'm tell I'm surprised them. I did too. <laughs> um, so before we get into all the goodies of what we've been doing for the past month, why we've been radio silent and everything. I just want to let everybody know, um, everybody that's been watching Collective Gaming, if you've been noticing that nothing has been dropping for the continuing episode of Banjo-Kazooie, is because my hard drive failed. Oh, that struggle, (laughs) Uh, Christian. No, and the thing is, is I taped the rest of the Banjo-Kazooie Collective Gaming episodes. I think we got up to nine, and then I had like maybe four or five more, and I was doing the audio recordings for it. And I and the hard drive dropped. It didn't fall very far. It might have been like like a foot. It not, dropped from six feet under yeah, no, to not, another six feet under. No, no, no. It wasn't. It wasn't that high, that high. But um, I'll, I'll just say it on here. Like you know, I, I had it tested and I had it and I brought it to a couple of places. And yeah, so they diagnosed it. The spindles were broken. Something was off its kilter. And they basically said to me, they said, hey, um, we can fix it for you. There's no guarantee you'll get everything. And it'll cost you about $750. So I'm like, ah. Hold on. It's a, wait, yeah. no, that's a whole topic of conversation. Yeah. $750. Yeah. Who, what, where, when, what? I don't know. I don't know. But, but the thing good, is. Good is, thing you didn't elaborate. And, and, and the other sad part about it is, and this is what's great about YouTube, is that everything's on YouTube now, is that the. Collective podcast episodes one through ten were on that drive, and luckily they were all on Whoa. YouTube. Um, the vlog, the vlog, the very first vlog of the Hillsboro behind the scenes was on there. I have a question. Yeah. So is YouTube kind of like the Holy Spirit now that your uh, hard drive's dead? Yeah, the YouTube is now uh, pseudo Dropbox for me now. So it's like I upload stuff on there, keep it on private just in case. <laughs> but I also Dropbox, and I also have so now. So I'm, it's in purgatory. Yeah. So now I'm backing up every single drive that I have, and just praying to God that I don't drop them, which is really good because now I switched back to doing l- lacy drives. They have this. They have this. Um, this orange covering around it. It acts as like a cushion. So if I do drop it, it won't. It won't break on me. Thank God, because I'm just. I've just yeah. But that that's that's been what's been going on. Um. So now with the Banjo Kazooie stuff, now I'm I I was right at the end of the game, and I, I I don't have the patience to go back and play the whole game over again. So I'm going to put that on hold. We're going to move on to another game. Uh, Jimmy, uh, since it's going to be October, we're going to be doing Castlevania. But Jimmy's also going to be doing a review of the game Vampire. I know it's like a couple of months late, but he's going to be doing his own review of the game Vampire, and uh, that's going to be a collective gaming. And then we're going to do a whole bunch of uh, Castlevanias. I'm going to try to get Larry on for one of the Castlevanias, but we'll, we'll see. Oh, the sexy Larry. The sexy Larry, yeah. But um, that's not that's not why we're here. I'm not here to talk about my woes of my hard drive problems. and th- That sounds so sexual. My hard drive problems. Take the blue pill. <laughs> um, but yeah, so real quick before we get back. The last episode... Episode 10 was Tales from the Filmmakers, which is Mind Vision. And then before that was Craig Lordran. And I say those two episodes were really good. 
Yes. I know you saw Craig last week at, Craig at the was, Comedy Festival. He was on another level. Oh, yeah. So, Comedy Festival, very nice event. Had about 45, 50 people at Rosebank Tavern. Uh, the benefits went to Sunrise Day Camp of Staten Island, which helps give summer back to children with cancer and siblings for a free summer camp program. John Kirshner did an amazing job. Very funny comedians throughout the entire night. Mike Sicoli is also another person who is hilarious. You should definitely check out his stuff. And I couldn't be more proud of the Fifth Borough Comedy Festival for all of the charities and comedians involved. Yay! Our cheap plug for Jerry's job. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, so... Um, that's why I get paid. Oh, yeah, that, 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 that's why we pay you the big bucks, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> also, oh, the other thing that was on that hard drive, which, uh, here it comes. Here he comes. Oh, boy. Joe Volante. Oh, ho, ho, ho. will be very happy that both Galaxy Wars and Bla- and the original, the two film school Black Suns were on that drive. So he'll be happy. But luckily... I do have the original DVDs and the original... You always have a backup plan. And they're on YouTube in private, so... (laughs) Just because you thought you lost something doesn't mean I always have a backup plan. Exactly. It's like our backup plan to have him on the show one day. All right, yes, soon. But now... Okay, Jerry, so... We'll we'll now move on to Hillsboro and stuff. Yeah. (laughs) So, I want you to imagine... What the longest day of summer's like. So it's the summer solstice. It's June 21st. You're having like such a crazy exhilarating day. You feel like it's all kind of like in the same type of like environment. And you feel like it kind of goes for what it is. That's kind of how I felt throughout like the entire day of the shoot. Like it was so constant. But I felt like nothing was changing throughout. Mm. Aside from like. The actual, like, uh, locations and stuff mm. like that. I felt like I was just constantly in the same mode of environment throughout the entire day. I feel like we should put some context in. <laughs> <laughs> um, before we get to the day of. Yes. We should start back to the beginning of August. Um, we had a really long week. The first week that we actually um, started pre-production was the week that the, v- the first vlog came out with me and Chris doing the location scouting. Oh, that and, vlog. Uh, yeah, me behind the car driving with my cell phone. I should I shouldn't have done that. Didn't get into any any accidents, thank God. But I yeah, that was kind of scary. But that's how everyone gets famous now, oh, Christian. Yeah. These, these this is what you have to go through with the ropes or whatever. Oh yeah, but uh, we did that. I know. Um, so for crew wise, it was you and me, and it was Chris Marcianti, who. Was on the podcast. Everybody knows he's going. To oh be, yes, he's going to be on again. Famous Chris. He's going to be on again next month in October. I don't know if he's going to be on with us before his film festival, the Volta Horror, after the film festival. We're still trying to figure that out because it's the Volta Horror, and then after that, and then it's either right before that or right after that, the new Halloween movie comes out. So we're we're trying to figure out: Do we want him to come on? Before or after to talk about Halloween? I I think this means that the whole thing is going to be about like an hour to an hour and a half long. Uh, Just him and me yelling at each other about Halloween, but that's not the point. But anyway, Chris was... Chris and I co-directed the the trailer, and we were running around like madmen. (laughs) Yes. We we pissed you off so much, or we just annoyed you a lot. You made me laugh the entire time. So, um, Jerry, what you mostly did was the producing side in pre in pre production, we'll get into all the uh, goodies of the day of and yes. a couple of days before the headache that we had the couple of days before uh, filming. But we had you do all the contracts. So the contracts themselves, like it was, no, it was nothing so stressful to, to per se. It was just about the type of communication and collaboration that went forward with it. Which, of course, in our first big endeavor of doing something like this, being that we've never really shot an official trailer in, like, its entirety. Mm -hmm. So, of course, you're going to have miscommunications along the way. But, at the end of the day, each contract got easier to be made. And I felt like we developed a more formidable dynamic. Yeah, I mean, after the fifth time, you had to rewrite the whole thing. (laughs) Um, I'm a great PR person for my fuck-ups, by the way. Oh, yeah, no, no, you're like... Yeah, so, so mostly Jerry's um, fuck ups were like Chris. Chris would be like, "No, no, uh, <laughs> no." He'd be like, "No, you got to spell this right or word this or this." Oh, right. so I'll even shout him out because he did such a good job. So, 
he initially said Jake Samson, but it was Simpson, yeah, oh, and then I kept misspelling it on the contract on my end, so oh, we no, no, both no, 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 fucked no, up together. No, you're, 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 you're my favorite part was when he said, it's Simpson, not Samson. And I'm looking at Chris, or I'm writing to Chris, and I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't see where he spelled the wrong, and he, and he, and he screenshots it. That and was he funny. he sends it to us, and that he was all funny. caps, it will come, who come. Don't, you guys need glasses. First of all, I wear glasses. You guys need glasses. And I'm like, I'm sorry, Chris. God damn it. <laughs> but yeah. He just but, spoke to my soul when he said I need glasses. But um, we had, uh, speaking to Jake, Jake was our DP. He came, he drove all the way up here the night before the shooting day. He took seven hours to get up here. Um, I give him so much credit. From Virginia. And he and he just left a couple of days ago. Um, he was up here shooting a whole bunch of other things. He shot something with um, Whole Foods up here and a whole bunch oh, wow. of other things. But um, I, don't, I don't know if I was allowed to say that, but it's it's been said anyway. Um, hey, if you put it on Instagram, it's free. It's free reign to talk about it. Um, <laughs> there you go. But uh, but yeah, but he was fantastic to work with. I mean, that's an understatement. We, we skyped him. We skyped him. Personality is amazing. Before. And I, I could say this on the podcast. I don't care. It's like I don't I don't ever want anybody else. I want him as like our DP now for like everything. Yeah. Because he was that he was he was um, creative. He took our ideas. He never he never said like oh you're right. oh that's not a good shot. He'd always start off with well that's good but what if well what if we do this? It's like yeah yeah or. Chris always asked him, Chris was asking him, he was like, hey, so do you have any ideas? Like, you read the script or whatever. He's like, yeah, you know, I have all these great shots. And a lot of the shots that we did were from Jake. I don't even think we shot. I mean, we had a shot list, but I don't even think we... Even but you completely it. adapted. Yeah, we, we didn't even use it. We were just... Day off, we were just sitting there. We were like, yeah. Day off, I barely saw any of the oh, shooting, yeah, except for the first location. Oh, yeah, no, you'll, we'll, we're going to get to that. Yeah. We're going to get to that in a little bit. And then... um. Uh, we put out a big call for to, for the crew on a Facebook page. Shout out to Local Zero Heroes. That Facebook group is oh, great. That, that's that's a fantastic Facebook group. We had the uh, AD, who was fantastic. Isabel did Isabella such a good job. She she really pushed me and Chris to to like be on time. And the best part about it is is that we scheduled it out for a twelve hour day, and we got done early. I'm going to use that as a tease that we got done early because um, it almost didn't get get done early. Right. And we'll, we'll get to that when we get to the day of shooting. Hmm. Because that would be really, that would be a very interesting uh, topic. Um, uh, who else? Uh, oh, Christian's, not Christian. Um, that's the name of, that, that's his name. Uh, Jake's assistant camera. who uh, He was very funny. Who Chris has aff- affectionately nicknamed Machiavelli. Because I'll well when we get to the day of, I'll, I'll explain why. But he, we had a couple issues on set, not like arguing or anything, but like some stuff, some setup. And he was like, well, "Why don't we just do this? Like really, like right off the top of my head, just not even like right on top of his head. Like, hey, just do it like this." I'm like, oh shit, okay. Um, and uh, we'll 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 get to that. Um, and then. We had, uh, I mentioned Isabella. We met, we had uh, sound, our sound guy, um, James Mr. Will, James. Mr. James Will, who is hilarious on Facebook. He's just commenting on everybody. <laughs> he's making, but he, he was really He's good. just, he's amusing. Like, oh, he he's such funny. a good team player. Oh, he was, he was. Big he shout was, out to him. Great, yeah. It's funny because. Um, we had like an hour conversation that day. Yeah. No, it's funny because he gave me the, uh, the SD card with all the audio on it. And if every if everybody knows the new Max, you need like the adapters for everything, and I didn't have the adapter for it. And I was like, oh, oh shit. really? I was like, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> and um, but but luckily Jake had his computer with him, so we did that. That's that's for later. Um, all all the um, we had Ian 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 was on set. Yes, he was our slate. Did a really good job. His friend, um. I gotta say, Ian, you look very professionally serious in yes. every photo taken of you, oh, mm-hmm. and Good. I think by that alone, you should be a model. Yeah, Beautiful. Yeah. His friend Vanessa was really good. She, yeah, she, she was really good too. Like very nice person. She was too. pointing out a lot of things 
like, oh, like, why is, you know, this, like, this shouldn't be like that, or she said it this way. And like, she was good like, at questioning. She, she was our script supervisor, so that was, re- and continuity supervisor, so that was really good. She was very on point. The, uh, the PAs were really good. Yes, every single PA was absolutely amazing. We only had one dropout. Yes, but, 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 but you but know it what? it was circumstantial. It right, exactly. Um, and we had two interns. The interns were great. Oh, the interns were fantastic. I would have them back too. There was not one. Me and Chris both agreed there would not be one person that we wouldn't bring back. I agree with that. Um, maybe Chris, I'd fire. Yeah, yeah, maybe not. Well, I did make a joke on set for all of you that saw the uh, oh the, the cat. vlog, the cat. We 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 um Chris's girlfriend's <laughs> cat was prancing around on set, like you know, thinking who who she is and oh look at me look at me pet me so we so i gave it an official title as the set morale officer everybody was petting the cat that's know? actually a very good name oh yeah the set morale officer. yeah yeah because cats are cats are great any pet any pet that you bring to the table will just put you in a good mood automatically um so yes yeah, so uh location scouting was a not a headache but it could have been more of a headache, but thankfully it wasn't. Yeah, we had Chris's girlfriend, who I will not name drop. I don't, I don't think she wants her name drop, so I won't name drop. It was Chris's girlfriend, um, who was one location. It was Ian's grandmother's. It was another location. Who you can't tell. It, it's it's the second location. Right. Because uh, we did it in her, in her garage, but you couldn't tell. Um, and it was... We were supposed to have my friend's house, but... He dropped out two days before for for an issue, and we had to scramble for an interior. And it was um, Chris and Ian's friend, who was the third location. That Adam. We, yeah, it was Adam. Yeah, so we uh, we we were able to bounce back with that. Uh, casting, casting was funny. Casting because we did we did we did one day casting at Chris's apartment in the Tyson's apartment. Oh yes. Which is um, I, I I'll just say which is not not the ample um, place. Not the best place because it's 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 the slum. It's kind of like Fight Club. You don't want to talk about it's it. It's kind of like I don't I don't want to say it's slummy. It's kind of slummy. It's the slums of Shaolin. It's kind of slummy. Um. So yeah, so we had we had we had more f- females coming to the Chris one, and it's like broken down. Like I don't know if I'm gonna get like shot in this yeah. building place that we did for the second day, which we only had like a couple people showed up for the right. second day down on Wave Street. So that was good too. Um, Wave Street setup was sick. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna use that again. Um, the props getting was hilarious. I, I have a funny story because it props. was because it, it, it was so unorthodox the way it was done. Speaking of this, speaking of this, I'll, I'll ask you on air. Who who has the deer head? I do. Oh, you have the deer head. Yes. Because okay. <laughs> Chris was asking me who, who, who has the deer head because um, he wants it. Um, it's, uh, I'm gonna start an auction, Chris. You want to be a taker on it? Oh God. Um, so, so we got a deer head. It wasn't a real deer head, but we, we, we got a deer head. Uh, the frames, the picture frames, were hilarious to get because I was arguing with Chris for like <laughs> half an hour at Michael's. No, it's this frame. No, this frame. No, this frame. So we got we got these big ass Victorian esque looking frames. Oh, it's a Victorian. Oh, it's a Victorian. Who, uh, who we couldn't, it couldn't hang. They would, they couldn't hang up because they were too heavy on the day of the set. But again, Machiavelli was able to figure that out. Um, and then Chris wanted to uh, print out these big ass satanic looking uh, pictures. I was uncomfortable getting them because. Wait, what was this? Oh no! Th- th- these were the frames. Oh, okay. So these were the pictures that were in the frames. Got it, got it. So, oh yeah, you you were at, you you weren't. Oh yeah, that's right. You 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 weren't on the the third. You were on the third set, but everyone was like, outside. Like barely. Everybody yeah. was outside. Um, I was uncomfortable because um, you know, satanic, and I'm going to Staples to print this out, and I'm like, right. He's going to look at me, so I brought Chris with me to print it out. Um. We got a table that we didn't need, that we built that we didn't need, which is funny. Oh, yeah. That was funny. That <laughs> um, really was funny. The the TV, which was um, really interesting to get. Yeah. Yeah, getting that TV up a dark basement filled with asbestos. That could have been a horror movie itself. Yeah. 
Shout out to Max. Max was Max was Max gave us donated the uh, the TV. That was like an old eighties turnstile wooden box. It definitely worked for the set though. No, the the, the aesthetic of it was great. Um, and then we got lamps and shit, and but that was funny out of stuff. Shout out to had, Home Goods. I had to I had to uh, send some props to your apartment. Yeah. Because there was no way my, my dad, dad was laughing his ass oh, off. Oh, my, my, my dad would have looked at me and been like, what, is, what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, I got to tell him now because he listens You're to the podcast. You're moving in. What are you talking well, about? He, 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 <laughs> he, he kind of listens to the podcast, so I, ha- I have to, yeah, I made a movie. <laughs> he doesn't, he, he, he didn't know. Cause I kept so this is your surprise to him? It was my surprise. I, uh, <laughs> I, I did a trailer. Nobody knew. I really did get away with like the perfect crime with, with not telling him. It was so perfect. I'm sorry. Uh, um, what was the, what, what else? Um, oh, the food. Talk, talk about the food. Oh, there. the food, the, the food. food. The food is hilarious. It's funny how throughout, throughout like the, uh, throughout the auditions with me getting the food. Oh no, you did a good job It was job usually a satisfactory job, at least from my assumption. Now. Day of, you got fired. The day, <laughs> the day of. I decided to make a judgment call on the conditions outside, and I didn't want to go too crazy because our call in time was 10 o'clock, and I didn't know until a few days before that uh, that the lunch break was later in the day. Mm. So I didn't want to go so crazy with breakfast if I'm going to go crazy with lunch. So I got a relatively conservative breakfast with bagels that were pretty much from another country, from Costco. And I thought, I was like, okay, maybe you could get the job done for a little bit. People are going to have maybe like less than one. So I definitely got my fair share of shit for that one. However, though, however, I okay. kind of saved myself on lunch. Yes. Lunch was good. Well, speaking of lunch, you, it's about a week and a half later. I just came to his apartment to record the podcast. I opened up his fridge to get a water bottle. And what's staring up at me? The lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at Jerry. I'm like, Jerry, come on, man. It's, gonna, it's a week and a half later. You still eating this? And the sad thing is, yeah. I haven't had that in about a week. Yeah, well, um, hysterical. Uh, so Jerry, so Jerry, Jerry, Jerry was the MVP for the whole pre-production, except for catering. <laughs> <laughs> um, so week of, I thought, okay, like everything's going to be silent until the day of the shoot, and then two days before, my friend backed out for uh, for. Uh, Home issue. The reason why we couldn't shoot that, which was... I was panicking. I was like, oh my god. But we bounced back later that day with a friend. Miraculously. Uh, that could have ended, like, really bad. I, I, you know, Murphy's Law. If anything can't go bad, we'll go bad. That's what happened. But, it was good. Night before was very interesting. Because we went to Ian's grandma's garage. And we set up tarps. And we took the TV out. We put the TV on the on the floor and we backed the garage up and we taped everything it was it was it, it was a well-oiled machine back there it was just you me Ian, and uh and vanessa were back there it was funny um we we, we didn't spend too long over there the setup was pretty good hours. yeah it wasn't okay. so bad i wanted to get home so bad because I, I wanted to sleep i was like i want to sleep i was at a, like 7 30 that morning mm-hmm. i was i was pretty much working from 7 30 to 11 at night yeah, look, that's that's filmmaking, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so now I assumed that's all pre-production's done in off the top of my head. So now we'll get into the day of. Now I'll tell my point of view, but I'm more interested in Jerry's point of view because Jerry was not on set for most of the day. Jerry was our on-call was our on-call person. I, I was going to use a nasty word, but I didn't. Yeah. Uh, was our on-call person. So he was running around, me giving him a headache. Jerry, we need this. Jerry, we need that. Jerry, you got to go to the store. Get a um, staple gun. Get this. Do this. We need a new tarp. We need a table. We need this. We need staples. We need pins. I I, I need a gun to shoot myself. I need, I need, <laughs> I, we need the food. Where's the food? Where's this? Where's that? We need uh, we need bricks. We need this. But um, I want your perspective. Of I was at about like, an 85% margin of like... Of like annoyed. <laughs> no, of, of 
meeting the goals per se. Oh, yeah. Definitely on the few things that you've mentioned, mm-hmm. I kind of went to the gutter on a few yeah. of them, and I had lunch. we had to re- <laughs> yes hashtag lunch. Yeah. We had to rely on a couple other people on set. Well, no, I'm, I'm to gonna do get a few to that, things. Which there was a big MVP. Yes, there was a big MVP. It wasn't. I, I wasn't so much annoyed. I was just more on the fact that I was driving around all day, mm. and that's that's not a big deal to me by any by any means. It's just a matter of if I'm going somewhere. You want to know what the like, destination is. I I want to know what the destination is. I want to know more or less like ahead of time, like mm. the set of things we need to get. Well, that's what it is. On the day you you can <clears throat> you can prep. Well, that. Uh, you can you can prep. But there's um, there's always that you're gonna need stuff because the stuff you're not gonna think of. Yeah. The stuff you're not gonna think of um, day of, or the stuff you're gonna think of day of. You're like, oh shit, I should have gotten that. Um, but I know you got to the se- you got to the set before we did, before me and Chris did, right? For which one? Of uh, uh, the first in in the morning. The f- no, cause we no, cause. <gasps> I was technically there, I think, no, I, five I, I or think, ten minutes I, I, before I you. I think me and Chris got there, and then we had to pick up uh, Brittany, the makeup artist, yeah. who did a fantastic job. No, too. she was so good. Um, and uh, she was funny, too. She was she was, awful. She was hilarious to talk to. Um, and um, so we, we picked her up, and then we came back, and you were there with, um, I'm drawing a blank, uh, the actress. Uh, not Valerie, the other one. Not Becky, no, Jessica. Jessica, you you were there with Jessica. I was with, right? there with Jessica and Connor, mm-hmm. helping with setup and stuff yeah. like that. And then uh, we got there, and then everybody else uh, showed up. And then I made a boo. I made a boo boo because I had an oversight. I forgot the a flag, not a flag like a waving country flag, like a flag for one of the microphones. And I was like, oh, shit. I'm trying not to spoil the trailer. Like, I'm trying to be very vague with it. Um, I, I, uh, I forgot the flag to make to make a flag to send out to get one made. And my friend from school, who was the on-set photographer, who got upgraded to on-set photographer slash second runner, um, he just went, oh, I'll just make one. And we just sent him the pictures. He went back home. He grabbed the picture. He printed it out. Came back within... 30 minutes and we started shooting. Yeah. That's mind blowing. It's mind blowing. It was. And basically the first location went smooth. It was very no smooth. No complaints. Everything, everybody did perfect. Um, got to Ian's grandma's. Oh, we, fun, oh one yeah. funny story with like with wrapping up that though. Yeah. Remember the bulldozer that kept going off with like the construction or whatever? Oh, yeah. All, so all we hear was <laughs> Chris wanted to like kill somebody. Somebody behind us was working on their car. Now it's not and like. people were backing and pulling yeah, out too. Now it's not like we were being conspicuous about it. Like, oh, we were secretly shooting a film. We had a tent. Right. We had our logo. We had like people running around. You had people with walkies. You had you saw the camera. You saw the dollies. You saw all the big film equipment. Like show some sort of like dignity towards what we're doing. Like at least at least express some sort of sentimental. Um. Oh, the funny part you weren't there was um, this guy just walked, walked up, was talking to David, and showed him his dragon tattoo on his leg. You told me about this later. Yeah. He had a one of those. Um, police um, house arrest anklet things on him on his on his ankle wow you know like if you go out out, out of the premises it'll let the police know that you're off the premises or it'll zap you I I, I, I don't know how right. work. I've never been on house house arrest before <laughs> um, and uh, he was just yeah, he was talking to him and then he just left and David David was a little confused I was a little like oh uh, you gonna come back yeah <laughs> Um, but that was the funny part of the day. You're always going to get those weird people. Are you shooting a movie? <laughs> you shooting a movie? Yeah, can I be in this? Can I be in your film? Who kind of films this? Oh, you know, I'm a writer. <laughs> I knew how to write in first grade. No, I'm a writer. What What do you write? I write my Facebook wall. <laughs> I write poetry. Um, yeah, so the, that was fine. Uh... Except for breakfast, but that's we we've harped on that enough. Um, 
Yeah, uh, Chris was the pseudo fake, fake Shemp on set. For those of you that know uh, Sam Raimi or um, the Three Stooges, fake Shemp is a fake is a fake person on, on camera. So he was fake Shemp. I'm trying to be very vague with this. I don't want to spoil. Yeah. I, I don't want to spoil what we did. Um, so the second set was at Ian's grandma's, and we shot a few different scenes. Again, being vague. Um, we had this TV and we had to perch it up on a table and this is where another Jerry we need a table get a table and you sending me pictures I'm like yeah that and now the, to my defense Jerry in the pictures the table looked big right in, 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 in my defense and in your defense so when I told you get that table and it turned out to be one of those like TV dinner tables yeah <laughs> you, can, you can tell your side of the story now that's pretty much it yeah. I mean I kind of walked into it knowing I had to defend myself, mm -hmm. and Chris kind of took it as I was pissed off, which... You were. I you were holding it. I in. was, but I was kind of like, I was putting that aside. I was just trying to be a bigger person and just holding myself accountable for what, mm -hmm. like, the standards are for things. So, just trying to, uh, just trying to hold my defense, and I guess, like, in the heat of the moment, Chris kind of took it the wrong way, so... You know, no, no harsh feelings by that. We t definitely talked it out afterwards, and we are definitely all good to go. And I still fucking hate him as much as I usually do. <laughs> Jerry hates everybody. The movie. Um... Oh, by the way, I was vlogging throughout the day. You, you did. I have to say this, Chris. Yeah. You did a very good job. And you can you can yeah. find that on the Caputo Collective YouTube channel. Like throughout, the, I I noticed your social media and stuff. You did a really yeah. nice job. Yeah, I that. I was really. I'm really like marketing and promoting. Well, that is my my full time job is marketing, but um, I was doing that on the side and I was trying to trying to get the uh, trying to get bring awareness and be all hey hey everybody. Um. So so we're at the second set, and that went smooth except for the TV. But yeah. The thing is, is we figured out how to put the TV on top of two really 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 heavy garbage cans. Huh. That I, was Machiavelli. That was him. Wow. That was him. That was the AC really stepping up his game. I did not know that. Yeah. Yeah. See, being very vague, TV, garbage cans. What are, what are they shooting? What are they going to have to wait and see? Don't worry. Uh, the podcast, I'll be promoting the shit out of it on the podcast. Lunch was actually up to standard. For the most part. Yeah. <laughs> It was good for the trailer. For the future, we're going to need to, like, freaking full-low catering yeah. and shit. But, um, look, it was good. You you got me my gluten-free uh, meal because I can't digest glutes. And everybody's making fun of me. Glutes, the glutes. The glutes. The glutes. I play the glutes. Yeah, so, this I know this, this is coming off as so boring, telling you, like, oh, you know, everything went smoothly. But it really did. I mean, this is the most smooth film set I was on yeah. ever. Yeah being the co-director on it even with like all the last minute like repercussions or whatever even yeah. that was all yeah. situated figured out like the fact that we finished 16 minutes ahead of time yeah. is very and i was nervous it's very was miraculous so, so then we cleaned up ian's grandma's garage or whatever uh for the most part we still got to tear some stuff down but and then you went to get becky yes who's our, who was our star um of the uh of the trailer she was she was really good. She was she. Becky is such a great actress. I um I'm gonna steal Chris's line because Chris said this to me over the phone a couple of days afterwards. He said, "Oh, was it Chris or was it Jake? It was one of them. One of them said it might have been on Instagram, might have been over the phone with me, but they said they never met an actress so willing to be underneath. Okay, I I don't want to say what she was underneath. Not not a person. Uh, she was. How how how, how do I wear this? She underneath was, it all no she was she was hiding somewhere and to go through that much trauma over and over and over and over and over again and jump back up be like let's do it again and yeah oh well, yeah i'm good no let's do it over and over and over again and just go through that trauma what kind of trauma well you gotta have to wait to see the trailer to find yeah. out yeah um you know, I never met an actress like that. Usually an actress would be like, oh, you know, maybe once or twice, one more time. But she was like, no, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Took everything that we told her. So amazing to see actors and, she was and actresses giving out, like she that. She was giving out 
stuff too. Like, why don't we do it like this? Why, why not this? Or, oh, yeah, I'm good. Let me go back. Oh, watching the footage back, being all excited and stuff. But that was, that was the good part of the third set. Now, the third set, we got, we were an hour and a half behind. Which is going into the third set? No, no, no. The hour, the the hour and a half. No, we were actually an hour ahead on the third set. So we got there and we were trying to set up the deer head and the pictures and stuff, the props, and they kept falling because we had nothing that was heavy enough. And with the person's house we were using, we couldn't really do anything to the walls. We didn't. We don't. We didn't, we didn't want to put nails in the walls. We didn't want right. To, because he just got the house and he just finished it up, whatever. So, um, so we had these um, sticky, not, I don't want to say sticky things on the walls, but like they're hangers, so like they don't. The ones at CVS? Yeah, the one, no, no, I, I, I went to Home Depot for this. And the ones, that, the ones that don't mark up the walls and like damage the walls or anything, they just weren't staying. And, you know. And everything like we were all like, and we were all like, oh, I don't know. You wanted, you wanted it up. Let's just shoot with that. And Chris was like, No. He was like really adamant because it, it to does. His defense, yeah. His, to his defense, the room looked naked without it. You right. Wanted, you wanted to set it up a little bit, and so we did that, and um, just an hour and a half behind trying to figure out. Um, oh, and what and what Becky was hiding under was too low. And again, David um, came came in with the his the MVP of the day. Oh yeah. He looked at he looked at me. He looked at Chris. He goes, "What do you need? What do you need to elevate it?" Chris goes, "I don't know, bricks, something." So he goes, "I'm gonna go back to my house." He FaceTimed me. So funny when he said that. He FaceTimed me. He goes, "What bricks do you want? What bricks? Slabs? You want slabs?" And Chris was like that one. And he just grabbed them, ran back, ran back half an hour. Uh, Christian, the uh, the AC Machiavelli, he put like twenty stickies on the picture frames and on the uh, the deer head hung up, and we just an hour and a half later we were an hour and a half behind behind, but we started shooting everything, and after that it went smoothly, and we were we were supposed to end nine thirty at night, we ended around nine fifteen. We, we we called it a wrap, and we're breaking everything down. Uh, around like nine fourteen. Yeah. So we, I, I believe that if that hour and a half didn't happen, we weren't behind that hour and a half. We probably would have gotten away with with a ten hour day. Yeah. Maybe a nine and a half hour day. It was good. Definitely. I, I was really happy with it. I mean, normally Jerry knows this. Jerry knows this. Um, normally the day after I shoot something, (laughs) I have a comment now, cause I'm not going to lie to you. When, when I was wrapped up from that day, I felt how you were feeling for every one of those other shoots. So people that do know me and people that are just listening in, um, when we shot mind vision, um, and I mentioned this on the mind vision, um, episode, which is in the archives on YouTube, which I don't have because my drive failed. Uh, (laughs) They're in the archives on YouTube and on wherever you wherever you're listening to on Anchor wherever. Um, after I shot Mind Vision, the day after I was so sick from those two days because I was in such a really grimy environment. It was humid that I was just on all fours, just throwing up. After Black Sun, I maybe slept straight for ten hours, ten hours straight. I was so dead, and I remember calling you up saying, "Like Jerry, if I ever have, if I ever say I want to shoot another movie, just just strangle me." <laughs> yeah. Here we are shooting another movie. Um, no, I, I woke. I literally woke up, and I was very happy for I you. I woke up that Sunday because I we had we were supposed to cover the pool, my pool, but it started raining. I was like, thank God, and I was just like, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna cover anything. And I, did we do anything the day after you and me? Did we, did we go anywhere? What did I do that day? I don't remember at the. I moment. know you went somewhere, but yeah. I, I was like, I couldn't. I, 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 I had to sleep. I was. I was I was too I was too tired. Hey, we went out the day after though on Monday. Mm. Mooya. Well, yeah, yo, yeah. I took Jerry, took Jerry out. It's a thank you celebration. I took him to this great place in New Jersey called Mooya, which I hope they come to Staten Island. They better. Oh, good burgers. I'm not I'm not plugging them because they don't pay the podcast. Uh, <laughs> I'm not plugging them, but 
I have to say they do make really good, really good burgers. Um, but as we stand now, we're in pre pre we're in post production. We're still in pre production. No, we're, well now we're in pre production for the actual feature now, but um, we're in uh, we're in uh, we're in post now. So we're not quite editing yet, but we're in editing. I'm hoping to get it for the Volta Horror, which I'll cheaply plug now. The Volta Horror Film Festival, which is Chris Marcianti's um, film festival. October twentieth. October twentieth. It's on. It's on Bay Street, right? It's at Amendment eighteen, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. On, yeah, it's on Amendment eighteen. As I pull it, it's no, sorry, it's on. Give me having a Street. better memory than you with yeah, your phone. it's on. Out. It's on six ninety one Bay Street, October twentieth. Uh, the building. It's not going to be on Amendment. It's on Dock Street. Well, that's. That is amazing. That's the co- that's always the code name. Oh, that's the code name. It's on Dot yeah. Street. It's the fourth annual Vault of Horror Film Festival. We were there. I was there late. You weren't there last year, but I was there last year re- representing us because uh, you were at a wedding. Um, and uh, we there's uh, live music. There's a Halloween party. There's a Black Magic Magician costume contest. Sexy costume. Yeah, Chris is really stepping Most it up. Most original indie horror movies. Uh, hosted by Monty the Vampire and got a great after the party lineup. Radioactive material is going to be there. Uh, G- Gamma Ghouls, the Bleeps, the Sweeps, and the Creeps. Uh, with the Rabbit Weasel. Wait, Rock really? Radioactive Ghost. material is going to be yeah, there? And Jess, oh, man. And Jesso Lantern is going to be there. And more to be announced. Um, we're going to be there. I know Fuzz on the Lens is going to be there because they're showing a little bit of abnormal attraction there. So we're gonna be there. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna show anything or not. But now I I want to give Fuzz a pretty quick shout out because I gotta say I never watch movies more than once. And Fuzz, this is gonna be my two and a half time seeing your no, movie. No, this is gonna be no. It's gonna be your third time. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, because it's only like twenty minutes. Oh yeah, just the first yeah. But it's uh, it's it's gonna be the third time watching it. It's great. It's great. Um, it's great. It's good. Uh, so yeah. So we got. The Volta Horror, then we're going to have Chris on the podcast to talk about Halloween, the new movie. We're going to see, because, excuse me, after we had Chris on the last time, he just commented, he's like, you know, I was trying to, I was trying to argue with you about Halloween. I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll do it when the movie comes out. So now me and Chris are going to have a great summit, Halloween summit, where we're going to argue with each other. A <laughs> retreat. Yeah, Jerry's just going to be on the sideline, just shaking his head, being like, what the hell did I get myself into? As me and Chris I'm going to be in costume that day. Me and Chris day. just argue about um, Halloween and which timeline's the best and which Michael Myers is the best and come up with some funny ideas that we came up with. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it, Jerry. You got anything uh, Got anything else you want to talk about? Or I just got to say I love everyone who I work with. Yes. Except you. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. But um, that was it. That was our great return. This isn't season two just yet. Season two is going to be in March. But we had a nice break, nice um, recharge. Even though it wasn't a recharge, we were still stressed out with the movie. But yeah, so that's pretty much it, Jerry. Got anything else? Got a plug? Says so something to plug? Anything? No, I no. think for I once, am good for, for once. once. Jerry doesn't have anything to plug. Well, life's going good otherwise, though. Job's going great, and we have some nice stuff coming up. We. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'm going to plug something just okay, to like just not plug jinx. it because it wouldn't be a podcast. Sure. Like we we'll do, we'll do a live. So, uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, so we have an event uh, at the El Carib for it's called Sweet Sunrise. It's our first ever event in Brooklyn for Sunrise Day Camp. And as said before, it helps give summer back to children with cancer and their siblings to attend summer camp for six weeks free of charge. Yay. Good job, Jerry. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll be back in two weeks with another podcast, topic based, unless somebody, unless we have a guest on, which I don't know of, which I don't. Which Joe I, Valanti. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, soon, soon. I, I'm trying to build. I'm trying to build Joe a Can nice. Can we make little, a Facebook page for him? No, I'm, I'm trying to build Joe a nice little following. You know, get get like the posse for Joe. Maybe he can uh, get some leg. Yes. And, and, um, hashtag get that leg. And, um, yeah. Build a little mystique around Joe. Joe needs a little bit of... The mystique The mystique Um. So, yeah. So, um, I have we have a whole bunch of fun things that we have planned. 
um, just shows that we're going to do and stuff. I do. I was trying to convince Jimmy to do a Tales of the Filmmakers like um, episode of the Collective Podcast. Oh, yeah? Where we watch an old KCW uh... pay and we do commentary over it. And not like commentary like, oh, yeah, what were you thinking here? Like actual, oh, my God, you got him over here over yeah. with the steel chair. Uh, my God, my God, you broke it in half. No, um, I, I don't know if that will be a Collective Podcast episode or that just be like him and me just doing it. Just the own. episode. Just the episode. Be like Dr. Dre. But um, if those of you who don't know KCW, I used to do back here wrestling, but that, that's we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that another time. He's um, coming out of retirement, guys. Yeah, no, no, no. But yeah, that's it. We're, we're, we're running over. And um, so yeah, so thanks everybody for watching. Find us on YouTube, as I plugged in the beginning. All of our great plugs. Remember, hit that bell on the side of the YouTube channel so you know exactly when we're dropping um, stuff. I'm going to be dropping more behind-the-scenes stuff. Um, I'm going to try to maybe live stream from Volta of Horror. I don't, I don't know if Chris will let me. We'll uh, see. I'll let you, though. That's all that we'll matters. See. Um, definitely soon, when their schedule lets up, I want Fuzz on the Lens on. I don't know if we'll be able to accommodate them with only two microphones, but we'll try. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, we'll just have them take over the maybe, podcast. May, maybe we'll just get Mike or we'll get Steven or somebody on. But definitely I want Fuzz on. Um, and we have a couple other people that I know you were talking to off the top of my head. but All pending, but all, all pending, to be good. But definitely Chris is going to be on within the next month. Where we're going to be talking about, again, The Last Laugh. Uh, Hillsboro, which was... I don't think we even mentioned that this was called... This is the code name... Way of the beginning. Oh, yeah. Okay. The code name of the film is Hillsboro. We're going to change the name eventually, but we're calling it Hillsboro for now. We're going to talk about Hillsboro. Welcome to Moose Sport 5. Talk about Halloween, as I keep saying. I'm going to maybe drop a review for Halloween, since I'm such a big fan of it. I'll probably drop a review... How cute. ...on, on the YouTube channel. I'm rambling, but go on the YouTube channel where you get first, uh, first looks, first reactions, collective gaming, collective podcast, and all that. I stuff. actually feel trendy for once. Yeah, so there you go. So, <laughs> first looks. Yeah, so there you go, Jerry. Sexy. You ready to uh, wrap it up? Wrap it up, Jerry. No, it's okay. The last thing I gotta say, and I'll reiterate as the beginning of the podcast: get that leg. <laughs>